Hello and welcome to the workshop. Today I'm going to be doing an experiment uh, regarding measuring uh, total harmonic distortion on audio amplifiers on the sheep. Not having any professional equipment, well, <laughs> that's a bit of a lie, but I do not have a distortion analyzer. And I want to be able to measure the distortion of my homebrew audio amplifiers and uh, yeah, so this is a little amplifier which I'm going to be using for testing purposes here today. And this thing is also going to stay out here in the workshop and be used for a driving amplifier for an 811 push pull, which I'm building. So, well, I haven't started building it yet, but here are the power transformers and rectifier for it and filter caps. And this transformer is going to be used as an interstage. And this is the output transformer. So stay tuned for that gonna be like a 200 ish watt amp but today we are gonna measure the total harmonic distortion coming out of this amplifier and I'm just gonna use this one as a test subject this is a quad EL84 in push pull parallel and it's built on a CNIF SP23 chassis but I have completely modified the circuit because obviously it's got four EL84s <laughs> but uh, this amplifier is gonna be our test subject and on the computer here when you do this you wanna have an old computer you don't care much about this is a HP Pro book which if I kill it well it's not gonna be the end of the world at least and this is a very low spec machine when it comes to the CPU it's got like a Intel Core i3 from 2010 it's got 16 gigs of RAM though which is just insanity and overkill but we are going to be run running a software called the Mark Audio Analyzer and what we're gonna do is actually fairly clever so the laptop has a audio output and a audio input I think most computers do anyways and what we're gonna do is we are gonna feed the audio output into the amplifier under test and then we're gonna take the output signal and feed it through a potentiometer probably 10,000 ohms is what I'm gonna try and then we're gonna feed that back into the computer and what we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to the signal on the computer and this software if I press here, run tests, it is going, right now it, it's not working because it's not connected, so it's a <laughs> problem, but uh, it's going to measure the total harmonic distortion and the spectrum, and uh, right now obviously it's not going to work because <laughs> it's not connected. So the first things first here is I'm going to need to rig up a potentiometer and an audio cable here's the port wired up as simple as can get ground output and input and that's it this way you can attenuate the signal going into the computer so you don't blow the sound card up and uh, that's done so let's get to testing and this is gonna be very exciting I am now very excited to see what's gonna happen here yes but basically what we've got is we got the signal coming out of the computer going into the audio amplifier we have the output of the audio amplifier going to dummy loads and one and in parallel with the dummy loads we have this which goes to the audio input of the computer and here we also have my oscilloscope hooked up so I can look at the signal because it can be kind of nice being able to do that so what we need to do right now um, we're going to turn the volume up a little bit and we are going to run a calibration on this see if I can remember where to do that playback only the calibration signal is being played now Oh, 
Okay. Okay, look. We now have a signal coming through the amplifier. You might need to increase the level a little bit because obviously we want to be we want to be able to clip the amplifier. Frequency sweep, everything. It's working. Yeah. Recording devices. Yes, we do have Sena coming in. We're gonna use this one as default. Whoa. Poor output transformer. I hope it doesn't get damaged. But yeah, this is probably working actually. I'll turn it down a little bit. There's <laughs> a bit of heat coming on and down mid already. But I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna try and get this to work. See if I can get this to work like it's supposed to. Playback and recording. There, it's working. We have our fundamental. And we don't have much gain right now, so let's increase the amplifier power. Yeah, there we go. There's our fundamental, one kilohertz. It's working. And I can increase the gain here on this. Now it's actually clipping. Turn it down, turn it down. There we go. It's looking better. The input level is low though, so we're gonna need to increase it a little bit. Okay, minus 20, okay. There we go, that's more like it. Yeah, look. Okay, so I added a 27K resistor in line. We do now have a signal coming out here look at that there we have distortion look at that it's working we have a second harmonic third harmonic fourth harmonic and so on and so forth now what we'll do is we'll start the test playback and recording Right now it's not running at very high power. I think it's running at maybe, I don't know, five, six watts of output right now. So it's not a whole. Now we can actually measure THD of our amplifiers without any expensive equipment. <laughs> it's doing frequency response right now. So right now it's running all the tests that you configure here. And right now, I'm just running the tests. Yeah, look at that. Uh, empty. We'll just name it test. Okay. There we go. We have frequency response. We have noise level. Dynamic range. Total harmonic distortion, 2%. It's working! This is amazing. I am happy right now. And here we have a spectrum analyzer. You can see the distortion here and here. This is just noise. So you can just kind of ignore that. But there we have our test. This is our fundamental, 1 kilohertz. There we have third, no, second harmonic, and our third harmonic. And fourth harmonic right there, you can kind of see it sometimes. It's actually working. This is insane. Okay, I've got this figured out now. So, I've got a 27K resistor in series here. So that we can limit our voltage going into this a little bit. And 27K is not really enough. I need to go up in value considerably. But for now, let's keep it there. Right now I've got it turned down, 
And what we're going to do is now we're going to turn up the levels on the amp until we start to see clipping. And we can see clipping here. So what we'll do is we'll simply turn it out of clipping. There we go, that looks pretty good I would say. Right there. Might be leaning a little bit. And we have output voltage. This meter is not fast enough to react. It's not fast enough to react. Let's put it on the min max. We have 8 volts RMS output right now. So now what I'll do is I'll adjust this pot until we start to see a little bit of signal here. There we go. The levels are okay. And now we can ignore that. This is our spectrum. Uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna remove the leads because we know what power level we're running at. Eight volts, shut up. This is the spectrum. This is how it looks like. We can see here the one kilohertz fundamental. Which is fine. The rest here is noise. Just ignore that. We can see our second harmonic at 2000. Third harmonic. You can see our fourth. Of course the water pump has to run when I'm talking. You can see all the distortion nodes here. You can see all the distortion nodes. You can see we have quite a few of them actually. So this amplifier is not particularly clean. And that's something I'm aware of. I'm just going to check the level on the oscilloscope and I'm going to turn the volume down. You can see that we tune out a lot of that distortion very quickly. As you can see here. And if I turn it up, there they come. And that is right under the edge of clipping on this amplifier. So we'll leave it there. And what we're going to do now is you're going to press start the test. And this thing is now going to play over your all kinds of different test tones and record them. See 1000 hertz there. All kinds of weird stuff as I said. <laughs> and uh, right now it's measuring playing 50 Hertz <laughs> it's playing all kinds of different frequencies right now now it's doing a frequency response test and this amplifier is gonna have a terrible frequency response but I already knew that and yeah it does a lot of different like dynamic tests and stuff you can see that there. Very interesting what the thing does. I don't know why I'm not filming up here. Fre that's probably the real frequency response test. And here we go. Now it's going to say, please select the slot. And you can give it a name. So I'm just going to name it test again, like I did earlier. Press OK. And here is the results of our amplifier. So we can see here, frequency response is plus 1, 3 and minus 4 dB. And this is probably, I can't remember what frequency it's set to, but I think it's 15 Hz to 15 kilohertz or something like that. You can set all these parameters here. Noise level minus 68 ish. Dynamic range 68. Total harmonic distortion is 2.4%. So that's, you know, that's 2.4%, and that's not gonna be audible, but uh, it does have 2.4% of total harmonic distortion. 
and the intermodulation distortion plus noise 10 percent crosstalk we can actually ignore that because we're only measuring mono here i've got them bridged together as you can see so what i should probably do in the settings here is only measure mono intermodulation distortion noise swept frequencies 0.4 percent frequency response swept sine wave plus 2 db on the low end and minus 2.8 on the high end taller harmonic distortion swept frequencies minus i don't know what that means thd swept frequencies in percent plus 3.2 and minus 3.0 and here you can press to see the graphs i believe so let's see total harmonic distortion let's see we want to see that that's the total harmonic distortion and you can see here we do have here's our fundamental first second third fourth fifth seventh and so on harmonic you can see them right here and it's very clearly it's very clear that this amplifier is coloring the sound which i already knew because it's a tube app and it's got a cheap crappy output transformer so of course it's going to color the sound and here is the thd of it two point whatever percent though is not bad that's not audible i promise it is not audible whatsoever but this is extremely cool we can now measure our power amplifiers yeah this is awesome here you can see a cursor, 1000 Hz, and so on. I think it's better if you do this. THD test. Very awesome. And we're measuring all of this with just a computer, a potentiometer, and that's it. <laughs> awesome.